Once, in a place far away, a very long time ago, there was a boy named Roger. He was tall, but a bit round. He lived in a big city where unusual things seemed to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway, Roger had lots of enemies in the city. All the people he used to like were now his enemies because he changed. He used to be a really successful banker named Ron, but he decided to go another way. And now, he is a hobo named Roger. Because of this, his friends thought they didn't like him anymore. So they said, you're our enemy now. Roger was like, oh no, I have no friends, but loads of enemies now. Roger lives day to tomorrow by the change he gets off strangers outside McDonald's. Sometimes when he gets enough money, he goes to the local shopping center called Teco. He can only buy things when they're on sale because he doesn't have much money. Sometimes he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale. He goes into KFC and asks, can you cook this for me? And they do it. Because they are his enemies also and spit in the food. Yuck. Today, on the windiest and stormy and rainy and cloudy and saddest of days, he decided he needed to eat and went to Teco. When he went inside, there were no baskets, which was weird. Roger thought that they must be giving them a break today, so he kept going. He saw that their bread was on sale, so he was going to buy it, when suddenly a big, fat, hairy man ran up to him and said, No! That's not for you. The man took the sale sign away, which made the bread go back up to $100,000. This is all in the future, so that's normal for the future. Roger made a face similar to this, and he said, But if you don't give me that, I'll starve. And the fat man laughed, and his fat went bouncy from laughing. Then one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. That happens when his enemies die. And he punched the man so hard that his fat fell off, and the man was so angry that he cried blood. Then the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. A black mist came out of the cereal boxes, and the bacon was flying everywhere. Pancake mix splashed over the counters, freezers freezing at high temperatures than normal, so that it was freezing the frozen pizzas too much. Ron ran away, far away to that aisle that's always full of people, since it has, like, loads of sweets and crisps. There were, like, ten, no, wait, fifteen monsters there all with black eyes oozing with blood and tears that looked like bacon, but were actually dried people's skin. He screamed, Fat Man, help! When the fat man came, the fat man said, You punched my fat, and now you'll pay. I am your enemy. And then he ran, and he went inside a freezer, but forgot the freezers froze too hard now, and he died from the freeze. Roger ran to an exit and was almost out when he tripped on something. He looked down and saw his enemy saying, Help me! The pancakes were too strong! Then he said, No. I am Roger. You are Ron's friend, not mine, Smelly. And he ran out the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. And he was Roger. Then he went back in for the bread, but forgot about the monsters. So when he got the bread, the monsters came out between the slices and cried blood from their mouths, saying, We are your enemies, Ron. He said, How do you know my old name? Then they ate him, and he just fell down on the floor, crying from death. His last words were, I am all your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now be a supermarket monster. 
So when you're in a supermarket, remember, Ron is waiting in the future though, because it's in the future, remember. Hey there, kids, and happy Halloween. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and I wanted to tell you thank you so much for watching tonight's video, or listening to tonight's episode, this October fest, on the podcast. If you're not listening on the podcast, then you always can listen on the podcast at Spotify, or just about anywhere you find a podcast. And if you're not listening on YouTube, then you can find it on YouTube, or just about anywhere you find a YouTube. If any of you guys are interested in some of the audiobooks or actual books that have horror stories in them that I've worked on, you can always check out that description down below. In there, there's a couple of different links to some horror books and horror audiobooks and new things, like hopefully there'll be a Tales from the Gas Station Volume 3 link down there in the next few days, which I'm referring to right now, because if you look and it's out, it'll be there. <laughs> also, I wanted to say thank you all of you who are supporting me on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta. If you ever want to help support the show, keep the lights on, feed my cats and the like, you can always head over to patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta and you can support the show there. Even one dollar is greatly appreciated. And I have a very special thank you to these guys, such as Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Mr. Thud, Ken Lando Higuchi, Chumpinski, Nico Kayo, Tristan Pelton, Stephen Van Hus, Chance Burnett, Deanna Krauss, G. Weevil 3, The Red Oak Shield Virus, Corey Kenshin, Pothead Holmes, Rival 1, Jimbo the Hutt, Caspian, Jordan Nels, The Village Witch, Hades Nephew, Jordan Wayne Deckart, Bradley Lipe, Ann Charan, Acid System, Mike Bullock, Fooly Cooly Dude, Prozac and Pancake Appreciation, Brian Arse, Cryptic Nightmares, Shadow Morningstar, Brianna Wright, Someone You Love, Said the King 56, Bad Honey, S-Man, Kiri the Sloth, Thomas Burgett, Liam Newman, Sky Harbor, Caleb Dougal, Last Blade Song, Rafael Rodriguez, The Ginger Bros, and Aaron Stormcrow. And another thank you to all you guys who are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for listening. And I hope you all have a wonderfully happy Halloween. Sweet dreams. <laughs>